Hey, my name's John, and I make SCP sometimes. Davis also does. Mm, hi. Uh, if you would like to support SCP for the finale to have more episodes come out in future, uh, buy the shirts. There's women tees, man tees, tees. Please. Davis hasn't had a night of sleep ever since he started working on the finale. Does that make you happy? Yes. Exactly. SCP's done and Davis worked on it. And if you expect Davis to get paid, you better buy the shirt. I mean, I, mean, I, I, get, I get paid a little bit. Buy the shirt. Buy two. Please, please, please buy the shirt. He's, he won't stop yelling. Buy three. Any sort of trouble, we can get you out of it. <laughs> sure thing. Three, two, one. You know, it's strange. I've been a detective for so long, and in all that time, I never felt like I couldn't handle a case. But now, almost every day, something like this happens. And while my heart beats, my mind stays still. Is this the right thing for me to do? Well, John, open the door. I would like to know what secrets that bartender was hiding. Besides, I think we all feel some sort of aura coming from that door. I guess it's too late for me to be thinking. John, are you okay? No. I feel like every one of my instincts is telling me to run. But I need to know the truth. I need to know what is behind this door. And if you die? I die knowing I did everything I could to protect not only this city, but you as well. What the hell is this? I don't understand. Did he hide this all these years? Uh, another bar? What's the point in hiding another bar behind Welcome, us? Welcome, sirs, to the Fourth War, where time stands still when you are having fun. May I interest you in a free drink? Oh, I didn't see it was you, detective. My mistake. You might prefer something a bit stronger to take away the pain. Who in the hell is that guy? Why does he know me? Oh, never mind. Your story isn't up yet. I'll be seeing you soon, detective. Hey, if you're done, clock man, can me and my friends get a drink? Of course, sir. Sorry to keep you waiting. I know how busy a CEO can be. Oh, got some bad news then. He quit. No longer the CEO. Love the new look. It's much more your style, John. Did he call that clown John? Drinks on me! I think you've had enough for one night, Davis. Did he call that drunk Davis? Well, let's get him home, James. Screw it, he can sleep in a restaurant. <sighs> Fine. I I'm just glad we stopped Joey before it was too late, and that I got a new artist job. <laughs> Can't believe he tried turning us into ink monsters. I'm just glad I got control of my characters again. I never thought I'd be able to make them be the way I wanted them. And I'm glad you can still be bendy, John. And that you can work as lead animator for me. And I finally stopped drinking. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> well, guess we should head out. Can't be late for the first day. I would hate to miss the grand opening of Henry Studios. Another satisfied customer. I think it would be best if we leave. I second that. I looked in the Strunginger's box and I wish I had it. Yes, this has been a strange, strange day. I, f I feel sick. Be seen soon, detective. <laughs> Can we turn on a light? I can't see anything, and it smells like trash. Where in the hell are we? Movement. Sure, sure, I'll turn the flash out on my phone.
Holy shit, that's the SCP we got. This isn't good. Listen to me very carefully. This is Low Force Senior Administrator Klaus Grimmery. Open the door to SCP-173 now. We're locked in SCP-173's containment cell. Open the goddamn door if I knock it down. You would kill us all. If you don't open this door, the council will send you to D-Class and make you do a port on SCP-082. Shut the door! Justin, no, this is all my fault. I couldn't keep my damn eyes on it. Klaus, I'm, I'm so sorry. If I knew this would have happened, I wouldn't have went in that stupid bar. We have a casualty at 173's containment chamber. Bring a medic to call the time of death and tell the council they lost one of their best men. Yes, sir! Format 173, do you need help? Don't be stupid. If we needed help, we would already be dead. Do as I ask. Days never get easier. Seems the longer I've worked here, the more people I care for die. I hope you deal with it better than I have, John. What do you mean by that? You really haven't told him yet? Well, I guess I'll let him fill you in. Yeah, John, fill me in. God damn it. Listen, Davis, I, I think there's a better place to do this. I think this is a perfect place. He deserves to know. Fine, Davis. I'm leaving the force for a while, and you will be transferred to a new department. Klaus and Justin offered me a job here. I turned it down, but they talked to me about it, and they said I could train here, become a part of their ranks, then return back as a detective in hiding. Y you you're leaving? This isn't fair! Why should I be punished for you taking a leave? It's not a punishment. Punishment is taking away your badge. This is so you don't get hurt while I'm gone. You will come back as soon as I do. That's insane! Why on earth would I leave while you train? I'm a good cop! I can handle myself! I and the commissioner also talked about that. Isn't that right? <sighs> yes, while you're a good cop, you lack the experience and without a partner, it's not a good idea for you to walk around alone. I'm not a child! John, you've said multiple times that I'll be just as good as you are one day! Why do I need to leave at all? In fact, why are you leaving? You always said that helping people was our biggest priority! It is. And as long as I'm still alive, I will do anything I can for that city. But we don't even know how the SCPs escaped containment, much less us walking to that bar and finding other versions of ourselves. If anything, this training will help me fight these monsters in the future. John's right. We don't even know what SCP-4698 is capable of. We might have to shut down the whole city block for testing. 4698? The fourth wall. Okay, the point is, Davis, it won't be safe there. Then I'll train here! No. What? You are barely ready to be a cop, much less whatever the hell they're doing here. John, this is my choice, not yours! <clears throat> Listen, Davis, you're, you're a bright young man. You will get a chance like this again. John is right, you're not ready for this. <laughs> that didn't go very well. This whole day has turned to shit. My best friend's dead, there's a bar releasing SCPs, and one of my best cops ran towards the class containment. I'll be back. One last thing, John. Justin and I may have had our problems, but in the end, I would give anything to have him by my side when I was here. Davis may not be ready, but he needs someone like you to show him how to stand up. Klaus, you've been drinking a bit too much today. He's not wrong. It would be better to have Davis here. I just don't want anything to happen to the kid. This may be the only way. Just not fair. I'm ready for this. I am ready for something like this. At least I think I am. No, no! I, of course I'm ready! Who's 
there. Frenzo! With any luck, I'll be the last thing you ever see. But before that, is there a detective with you? I do deserve to slit his throat for all the hell he has put me through. I think this is a killer. You're the one who killed those five people and left them to rot in a basement. Oh! You made my little game. I hate losing friends, but if I kill you, that means I would be in the lead. No, no, no. Go away! <laughs> This, this right here is why you aren't ready, Davis. It's nothing against you. you, you just lack experience. You are trembling in front of this sociopath. If that door wasn't there, you would be dead. Missed you too, friendo. But I can't, John, I wanna learn. Just just give me the, that chance. And what if you fall? I'll stand up. What if you get scared? I'll smile through it. What if you die? I die knowing I did everything I could to help not only you, but the city. And if you need help? I'll have your hand to reach for. Oh, going to make me cry. Get up, Davis. No time to be sitting on the job. I have told you many times you will be better than me. But till that day, I will teach you everything I know. Well, partner, you in? John, of course. <laughs> Welcome back. Glad to see you aren't hurt. Very funny, but we make a great team. It'd be ashamed to break it apart. Sir Davis, will you be joining us after all? Looks that way, but hope you can run the city without us for a bit. With you two gone, I'm actually busy my wife. But nonetheless, I'm glad to see you two do this together. Can't wait to start. I would like to welcome you to your new job at SCP Foundation. It seems like our adventure is just beginning, Rook. Interesting developments.